Hey, it's Dougie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint site in 10 minutes. We're going to cover off some of the high level basics of creating a SharePoint site. And for further details, there's links in the description below that's going to go into the more finer details for each of the sections that we cover. So the first thing is creating our SharePoint site. Now, if you go to the app launcher of uh, Microsoft 365 and select SharePoint, it's going to take you to a page that looks a bit like this. You're going to see pages and SharePoint sites that you've accessed recently from frequent sites. Um, you can also see uh, SharePoint sites that you've previously been following. Um, and the first thing I would do is just make sure that whatever SharePoint site that you're going to create, there's nothing that is already duplicating it. So say, for example, if you're thinking of creating a HR site, just go and check that there's no human resources site that already exists. Now you can do this using the search box at the top. Just search for different names or variants or, of things which possibly could be similar and just double check that nothing else like that already exists. Then we click on the create site button across the top. This is then going to ask us what type of site we want to create. Now, it depends on the purpose of the SharePoint site of what you're trying to create. Again, I do have a video which goes into the details of communication sites versus team sites, but at a very high level, let's just say if you're looking to have um, almost like a closed off area that's for collaboration for a particular team or department or a project, you might want to create a team site. Whereas if it's something which is quite open plan and you want everyone in the organization to have access to it, maybe let's say, for example, we're creating a site um, all about um, a, like a certain initiative that we're, we're wanting to share with the wider organization, um, then we would probably want to create a communication site. Um, now, in this instance, uh, I'm going to be creating a team site because I just want a small closed off area that's going to be for collaborational purposes. So I'm going to click on team. And now you can see there's a whole host of different templates that you could choose from to make it look a little bit um, better than just the standard out of the box. You've got the standard team site, which is just what it looks like out of the box. Um, and then there's a couple of different types of ideas. So it might be related to, say, employee onboarding, planning an event, IT help desk. There's a couple of different templates. But just to keep things simple, I'm going to select the standard template, uh, click on use template, and I just need to give it a name. Now, you want to obviously give it a name that's obvious to everybody uh, of what it is. Um, so that if anyone else comes across it, they know exactly straight away what it is. So I'm going to call this, say, my IT team site. Um, so it's my IT department uh, team site where we're going to use it for collaboration. Um, the privacy settings is private, so it's going to be locked down to only the IT team members. And then I click on create site. Now, I do get the opportunity whilst it's creating the site to also add members to this site. Now, with members, um, again, I'm going to post um, a link to a video which is going to describe the permissions of SharePoint in a bit more detail. But with team sites and communication sites, the permissions, the access structures are slightly different. With team sites, it's much more simple because you just add members in there and they have access to this. Whereas with communication sites, there's multiple layers to what you could potentially be like an owner, um, an editor, or just a read only. So I can add my members in here just by typing in someone's name, select them. Um, and then that's added them as a member. So I can add multiple people in here if I wanted to. And let's say, for example, for, for a, a small or medium sized organization, we might only be selecting a handful of people that have got access to this site. Then we click on finish, and then this is created as our site. So what else can we do? So other things we might want to do is update the look and feel of our home page. Now, this is really simplistic. You can click on edit button, and that puts our page into edit mode. Now, a page, a home page, is made up of what we call sections. So you can see here we've got this kind of two sections. We've got this column on the left-hand side and a column on the right-hand side. We can then add web parts to these sections by clicking on the little plus button. And then we've got a drop down here that shows all the different web parts we could add um, to the page. So if I just wanted to add, say, for example, um, a button, um, which was going to open up the say, IT support desk, and click on button, click on the pencil option here, and then select um, support desk, provide the link to whatever support desk that is what you're using. And then once I'm happy with that, I click on republish. And there we go. We've then got a button, which when we click on it, will launch the third party uh, link. So um, again, 
we would probably will spend a bit of time updating the home page making sure it's got um uh, all the kind of features on there that we want to um i would suggest that you go through and look at all the different web parts because there's so many different web parts you could add to a page it's also worth looking up um some other examples online of what other people have got their kind of team sites to look like to get some inspiration of what you could potentially achieve then once we're happy as i say we click on republish and everyone else um, that is a member of the site would then start to see this home page i'd start considering as well doing things like adding some new content to the site so for example news articles really simple to add you can click on the add button here click on news post and then there's loads of different templates again i've covered a lot about news on my channel in the past before so i'm not going to go into a load of detail here i'm just going to create a brand new news article maybe just to sort of say I've got a new it site so launch of it team site we can change the layout from plain to maybe say a image and title we can add an image by clicking on the uh, pencil button across the top up here uh, selecting the browse image button and then clicking on stock images then you can search all sorts of things in here but i'm just going to look for pictures of computers to find something that looks um, a bit more it so select that image whoops one more time stock images computer i clicked away too early before select the image click on insert and then it will put the image in the background I can then put in some text to say this week we launch our new SharePoint site blah 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 there we go and once we're happy with that we click on post and send now post and send um, will post a news article to our SharePoint site but also we get the option of sending this out to people as a email as well as a link so they can come and view in SharePoint so I might want to send this to my IT department say look got a new SharePoint site come take a look then by going back to the home page, you can see that news article has then been posted um, and, and we're starting to get a bit more content now together for our SharePoint site. The next thing we want to do is probably add in some documents. So we click onto our documents area on the left hand side and it's really simple to either create new or we could upload by clicking on upload, click on files. We can then open up File Explorer, select whatever files we wanted to bring in we can multiple select it's also worth mentioning you can drag and drop as well directly into SharePoint you don't even need to open up file explorer um, through this upload tab you can just drag and drop and there we go we're uploading our key kind of documents again from the home page we come into here you can see those documents are also showing up inside of the documents web part we might also want to update some of the navigational items on our SharePoint site so on the left hand side here you can see what we call our site navigation bar i can edit this by clicking the edit button and you can see as i hover between these different links um, i can choose to add new links so i could click on a plus button here to add a new link and maybe let's say for example we want to link to bbc news in here or any other type of website um, that we want people to easily access click on ok click on save and there you go we've now got a link that when we click on it will open up in a third party web page um, to the bbc news but again this might be linking to all sorts of different third party applications apps um, that you want your team to easily be able to access we can also update the quick links web part in exactly the same way but first we need to click on the edit button go to quick links edit um, the web part and then we can choose to add in new by clicking on add links and we can choose to remove links by clicking on the um, rubbish icon here once you're happy make sure you click on the republish you can also change the look by clicking the cog click on change the look and then we can do things like changing the theme to a different color if we wanted to select one of the standard options um, like green or blue and then by selecting them uh, we can see the colors are changing uh, on here all we need to do is click on save to change those those colors also we can choose to add in a different logo as well if we wanted to just by simply clicking on change then selecting the image from file explorer clicking on save and that then changed the logo on our sharepoint site if you found that useful please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you need any professional help setting up your sharepoint site there's a link in the description below and there's also links to the 
deep dives on each of the topics discussed in this video in the description below.